Good morning, guys. It is March 17th. It has been a long, long while. And I wanted to quickly jump up, jump up. I wanted to quickly give you guys a life update. I'm still here. I'm still alive. <laughs> Most of you guys um, follow me on Twitter or Instagram or are my friends. I love you guys. Um, so you know I'm alive. I just haven't been vlogging. I've took a, I took a break in December. I took a break from writing after um, NaNoWriMo because I was teetering on burnout. And plus with December it was the holidays and things just got busy. <clears throat> January I worked a few performance events that required a lot of rehearsing and script writing and choreography and it was so much fun. You'll have seen that video up on, I have that video up on my YouTube channel. I have the video of the medieval fight show that we did that my husband and I did. He choreographed everything. We put a script together. I worked with my friend Bree with Second Start of the Right. I also worked with Charity Ball. Oh, excuse me, I got to be Alice in Wonderland uh, for Second Start of the Right, who works with A Special Wish. Cleveland Chapter, um, A Special Wish is kind of like Make-A-Wish. They grant wishes for sick children, and they do wonderful, wonderful work. Um, and then I got really sick uh, because Ohio weather can't make up its mind, so I had a real bad sinus infection um so much so that like i went to the er because i kept getting dizzy only to find out that it was just sinus infection stuff i had fluid in my ears so like I, ugh. and i haven't really been sleeping i've just been going 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 so i haven't really had much time to sit down and then i got a promotion at work so now that i'm working like till 6 37 o'clock at night it's been hard to vlog and on the weekends i've just been zoning out not wanting to do anything <laughs> just trying to play catch up so yeah i'm still kind of recovering from being sick my sinuses are still bothering me because the weather like a couple days ago the weather it was 70 degrees and today it's 27 degrees and i'm just tired of this shit <laughs> my sinuses are just like why so i've just been tired and trying to play catch up but I'm here, I'm back, things are starting to settle in. I will still be doing writing vlogs. I'm really excited to get back into writing vlogs. I also wanna do other kinds of videos besides like lifestyle vlogging. I have a few video ideas that I wanna film. So I'm going to be working on planning those out soon. And then my biggest thing is trying to figure out where I want to set up and film. I can literally just sit here like I'm doing now and do kind of an informal thing, or I can try to set up in front of my bookshelf, but that's a pain in the butt because it's in the corner and there's no room over there, but the background is cool. So, I don't know. I have been slowly trudging along in my writing. I've been a little frustrated with it because my plot isn't very strong and it's kind of a hot mess like my first draft is a hot mess but that's okay because it's a first draft and first drafts are you telling yourself the story so it's fine but I've noticed there's a lot of contradictions between like the first two chapters and like the chapters I'm working on now which I believe are seven and eight so I, it's been hard because you're not supposed to edit a first draft because it's a first draft. But I can't leave those contradictions in because like the characters in chapter one contradict themselves because of like the decisions they make in chapter seven completely contradict what I set up in chapter one. And it doesn't make sense. And it's real confusing even to me. So all, so what I'm gonna be working on today specifically is going through and just tweaking those lines <clears throat> that contradict themselves um, because I, I can't be organized. I can't tell myself the story if it's that disorganized, if that makes sense. And I'm not like editing anything, I'm just fixing the contradictions that I made, if that makes sense. I mean, that's kind of editing, but like I said, I can't go forward with these blatantly bad, like, contradictions and confusions, and I just, I can't. So, lately I have been 
researching more in-depth outlines and trying to find outlines that I really like. Um, I have an outline that I made a while ago. Um, I broke it up into three acts and basically all I did was kind of just summarize each chapter and each act. But I found a couple that I really, really like. There's one from writersedit.com. I'm flipping through my series binder right now. Um, as you can see, oh, I have loose paper. Oh, no. Hold on. Um, from writersedit.com that I printed out and it breaks it up. Act one is the setup and then act one is introduce the hero in the ordinary world in block one and then block two is the problem disrupts the hero's life and then it breaks it down into chapters and it has 27 chapters um, in three acts and I really like that one and I'm also currently invested in the outline series that and I hope I'm pronouncing her name right Abby Emmons is currently doing um, for March she is she has an outline series that she's doing. She has two videos out currently right now, and I've been watching her videos and taking notes, as you can see. See, like, I take notes. Um, I'm really intrigued by her outline, too. I still like the hero's journey, and I like the Save the Cat version, and then I've actually found a couple, I'm gesturing my computer, sorry, a couple videos on YouTube where people have combined the hero's journey and Save the Cat, which I thought were really cool. So I'm currently right now working on finding an outline that works for me and putting what I have into these new, more structured outlines. And I think that's really gonna help make my plot stronger. I've also been redoing all of my character worksheets. There was this one character that I really could not get a grasp on. His name is Konig. Um, he is um, king of an Irish country that I made up. Um, and he's an antagonist in the book and I, I really did not have a grasp on him and I made him this certain way and he had these certain prejudices but they didn't really make sense with what he was trying to do and these other certain things that he has done and I'm like well those don't really make sense if he feels this way so I got an in-depth character sheet what do I do with it that I found and so I have this and I wrote out his character sheet and when I got done with it I was so excited because I finally had like a light bulb moment with him while I was writing it um, these questions are fantastic I'm gonna have to I didn't write down where I found these but I'm gonna have to find it the link and I'll if I find the link I'll post it down below I'm really sorry I should have I didn't write down usually I type out where I write where I find stuff um, like the one outline that I like was from writersedit.com and I wrote that on the thing that I printed out but I didn't do it on this and I should have um, if I find the link I'll link it down below but they asked really good questions and I was writing it out I had just a ton of light bulb moments with him and realizations and things like that so I found him basically and now the things that he does makes a lot more sense and there's more reason behind them and there's more like intrigue behind them so that's fun and now I am moving on to work on his son Connor which is one of my main characters I'm really excited to work on him because he's gonna have this wonder I have this wonderful like redemption arc set out for him and I'm really excited but I have to my biggest problem with Connor is I keep writing like book two Connor in book one and I can't do that um, <clears throat> because originally when I originally thought of Connor way back then it it was after his redemption arc but now that my story is set before the original timeline if that makes sense so like when I first wrote this story I wrote it basically in the middle the war was already happening um, because my story is basically when I first started it in high school and even now the main plot line is the fight for Camelot that's it you have to save Camelot that's the basic basic plot line that has not changed everything else has changed the villain the reasons why the why is why do they have to fight for Camelot but basically the biggest overhead plot line is we have to save Camelot and before 
when I originally started it, I had started it in the middle. The war has already been happening. I basically started it way too soon. So I'm backing up and doing all the before events and all the events leading up to that. That will be book one and there will be book two and then book three. So it's going to be a trilogy. And where was I going with this? Oh, Connor. So yeah, I am backing Connor up to where he was before. So it's been hard for me because I'm so used to writing after the redemption Connor, but now I need to write before the redemption Connor. So I have to work on his character profile. And I'm gonna work on that today. I started his a little bit yesterday, but that's where I am right now, working on writing. I'm having a lot of fun researching outlines. Um, let me know down below um, how you outline, what outline structure you use, how it's working for you. I would love to know. Um, let me know how your work in progress is coming, if you're writing anything. Um, I think I will stop this video here. I think I'm going to do some vlogging. I'm going to post this video because I want to do a quick update. And then I think I'm going to do some vlogging throughout the day. I have a lot to do today. So I will see you guys in my next video. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. I promise, I promise I will be trying to update better. I can't guarantee a certain day of the week or once a week or anything like that right now until I really get settled. I'm going to try my hardest to do at least once a week. Um, I especially have time to film on the weekends. So I love you guys. Thank you so much for sticking it out if you are still here. Again, let me know in the comments below what outline you're doing, how that's coming for you, and I will see you guys soon.